Okay, still at our little landing screen here for getting started. Um, let's talk about the identifier here, which is going to lead us into or lead us out of the program itself. But um, uh, I think I mentioned before that this is generally going to be uh, your rever the reverse of your domain name. It is up to you though. Um, so you know I might put in here Cartoon Smart. All right, and then to edit this grayed out part. Uh, you can't just type in here. What you need to do is go over here to your build settings, and if you wanted something different than the, you know, project name here, you're gonna put in the basics like course. Okay, done. Come back over this way, and now we've got ourselves a little bit more of a proper bundle identifier, and you can see to change that app name uh, down that way. Now, uh, how does that end up getting used? Well, uh, th those app IDs are absolutely essential for um, a lot of the, the kind of extra functionality with like in-app purchasing, and re really, I, I'm pretty sure you, you need one um, to just submit your app in general. You, I'm not positive about that because I don't think I ever have done this, but you might be able to get away with just uh, a generic uh, name without an app ID, but I'm pretty sure you need it. So. Let's go and talk a little bit about that. Um, you are gonna need to go over here to your dev center and the iOS provisioning profile portal. Uh, if you haven't signed up for this, I guess you can skip this video for now, but um, ultimately you should work your way back to it because uh, we will talk about a lot of the essentials for getting set up with uh, <clears throat> testing on your device and and just having everything provisioned properly uh, to be able to submit your stuff to the store. Um, one thing to keep in mind right away is that a lot of these uh, little subsections here have uh, tabs for development and distribution. So for both certificates, for uh, provisioning, develop distribution, I guess app IDs and devices, there's no Okay, so it's, well, I suppose it's just provisioning in for certificates. So you're going to need to set up um, some stuff on both of those. For some reason it's giving me the wheel of doom. Come on, don't crash. Okay, um, let's go back over to this one first. Uh, obviously, because you're looking at my account here, they've already been set up, but uh, this would be uh, replaced with a request certificate and uh, since I'm not going to go through and like delete all mine and everything like that, your best bet is to go to the how to section and you're going to end up using your keychain access program uh, to do most of this work. These, if you just follow these exact steps, uh, you'll, you'll, it's your road to success. It's, uh, it's not hard and, um, it doesn't, there's no extra cost or anything like that to, um, request your development and distribution uh, certificates. You do need them though. Then, over here by devices, uh, you're going to want to tell Apple what uh, devices you got. Um, you're just going to uh, plug in your bundle ID, or I'm sorry, not your bundle ID, your um, device ID. And again, if you go over here to your how-to section, locating a unique device ID is going to show you exactly how to do that. And um, that again, that's pretty self-explanatory. All right, app IDs, here we go. Uh, you're going to want to go and set up a new app ID. Uh, it ends up with this like crazy alphanumeric number right here followed in front of your bundle ID, all right? And I'll just give you a little quick example here. Uh, let's see, we'll call it, we'll describe this as the basics course, okay? And then uh, enter a unique identifier for your app ID. All right, again, oh, hey, wait a minute, look. Bundle identifier, identifier. That's exactly what we want to put in here. So we're going to write comp.cartoon smart dot and then the basics course yep that's what we called it over there and then uh, what it's showing me in the drop down here is all these other um, bundle seed IDs that it has generated following me doing exactly this before so for right now I'm just gonna put your use team ID and then uh, if I click on submit over this way it's uh, probably put it in here somewhere but it doesn't um, Anyway, it's, that's fine. It's, <laughs> that part's done. And then as for provisioning, uh, what we're gonna do is create a new profile. Right, here we go. 
and uh, put in your profile name. Uh, so again, this is something that we do for development and distribution. So put in that name, click off certificates. Okay, that's a certificate we already set up over there. And then select app ID. There it is, the basics course. And then you could just select off all the uh, devices that you possibly want to test on. Blammo, you hit submit and it'll probably take a second to refresh through there and then um, it's gonna give you the option to uh, download that provisioning profile. You're gonna end up doing the same thing over here for distribution as well. See, there's those options to download them. So remember, develop, dis distribute, these are two different things. And if you get confused about any of this stuff, you can always go over here to how to. Now the, um, the key thing to remember is then once you've um, downloaded those um, provisioning profiles and if you just double click them they should just automatically go into Xcode here uh, where you're gonna end up using them is over here in build settings um, under debug okay you're gonna pull down your um, profile selector and um, generally like it says recommended here generally you're gonna just go with your automatic profile selector because if you set up those uh, provisioning profiles with the exact uh, bundle ID right here then it's gonna know what to look for it'll go oh okay well I'm gonna use the uh, profile with the bundle ID that matches that and boom good to go and the same thing is gonna be true for your uh, distribution so under release all right, you're gonna go over here and then find uh, your automatic distribution profile that, that best matches, and it should be that exact match with that other one. And you should be uh, good to go from there, you, A plus. You know, you'll have no problems. And then that way too, when you go over here to product and run or build for archiving, it's gonna create the application with, or it's gonna, yeah, it'll create the application with that distribution profile attached to it. And I record a separate video talking about the, um, the product it actually makes. But um, you want to make sure you watch both of those. And um, yeah, so that, um, that I think is all we need to talk about with um, the, provision, the bundle ID and all that other good stuff that we mentioned about in the portal. Okay.